Hi everyone. Um, this is going to be a, a bit of a different video today. Uh, if you're new here, or if I'm being honest, I don't think I've actually ever explained in a video. Uh, my name is Brittany. My boyfriend's name is Chris, and we bought a 1994 GMC Vendura back in the summer of 2020. We had ideas we'd want to do road trips and things like that, but an idea sparked in my head. I was a little bit bigger <laughs> than uh, I think we had ever planned. A little backstory. My dad was diagnosed with cancer when I was 10 years old. We didn't think he was going to survive then, but he beat all the odds. He did. But over the next 14 years, he ended up having a good amount of health problems. And starting in 2019, he actually had to get on a feeding tube and things became kind of like a roller coaster. He would go really, really deep lows, but then he'd bounce back and stuff like that, but it wasn't looking good. So I knew I wanted to do something for him. And back when I was younger, he would always quiz me on the capital, Larda City, and University of each state. So I had this wild idea to travel to all three of those locations in all the lower 48 states and film a video of myself at each one of those locations being like, hey dad, I'm in Sacramento, the capital of California, and put together a video for him. So I proposed this idea to Chris and somehow he said, let's do it because it is a bit of a wild idea. So we built out a van for about six months, saved up our money for a year, and we had planned to go on this five month road trip to make this video for my dad and just do the world's longest road trip and just make it a really amazing thing. If you've been watching our videos, a few videos ago, you might have seen that we had to make a trip down to Florida. We were supposed to go up north to Colorado, but we actually changed plans and headed straight to Florida. And that was because my mom gave me a call that my dad wasn't looking too good. In my head, I thought this will probably just be kind of a usual thing. He kind of, he'll hit some lows, but then he bounces back. It had happened many times before. But still, my mom was like, I think it's important that you guys come now just to be safe and said, okay, no worries. And we made our way to Florida. The plan was just to spend a few days there with him, spend some quality time with him. And that was the plan. Yeah. And we did. And the day we were supposed to leave, my dad woke up in the morning and he was trying to move from one part of the house to the other and he actually fell and the fall really just kind of knocked him out. The, the people, like the ambulance had to be called. They had to do CPR on him to get his heart beating again. And they transported him to the hospital. And it was very, it was very, very scary. Um, but once he got to the hospital, they put him on a ventilator because it says, they said his lungs weren't doing well, but the thing that really just kind of was making his body not great was he had an infection which happened often due to his like um, feeding tube and all of his little lines that he had in his arm and stuff so he had had infections before and stuff like that so I think me and everyone else in my family were remaining very optimistic and even at one point um I asked the nurse, I was like, so what's going on? Like, please just be honest with me. And she said, oh yeah, um, he's got the infection and one of his lungs isn't looking too great, but we're just gonna put him on the ventilator, give his lungs a break, clear out the infection, then we'll work on his lung. It should be all okay. So they really gave us the hope that it was gonna be okay, that it was just kind of another little scare, a little bit of a bottom in the roller coaster that happens. So, <sighs> before this, by the way, before this, we get to Florida and I actually tell my parents about the van. It was going to be a huge surprise. The whole trip was going to be a surprise. Florida was going to be our last stop on the trip to show my dad the video and everything. But I was just like, again, better safe than sorry. Let me tell them about it now. And my dad got to see the van. He got to see the clips of the places we had already been. And he just thought it was the coolest thing because even his sister try to hit all the capitals and she just came up a little short before she passed. Um, so he was so excited 
for us to hit all the lower 48, all the capitals especially. He loved the capitals, large city universities, but yeah, he just, I think that was the cool thing, especially that we also built out this van ourselves. Um, I don't think he thought we were capable of doing something like this. Um, so my mom and dad knew about the trip. My dad, as soon as he found out, he's like, oh, you guys gotta get back on the road, get back on the road, like, keep, keep going. So, when my, when my dad was admitted to the hospital, I, we stayed an extra couple of days just to assess how everything was going. After a couple of days of being there, the nurses kind of gave us the green light that he was going to be okay. My mom was like, yeah, get going. Like, he's going to be okay. He's going to bounce back. It's going to be fine. Like, and I had this great idea also. Now there's another little <laughs> piece of info. It's also, just, I'm so sorry if I'm all over the place. I never thought I'd have to be recording this video. And also, I'm just not really still too used to talking to the camera. Um, but back in summer 2020, when we had this idea, we bought the van and everything, I had the dreams of like taking my dad on road trips. So I, I had asked him, if there's like one place in the whole entire country you'd want to go, where would you want to go? And he actually said Mount Rushmore. So my idea was, okay, my dad's in the hospital, there, he's on the ventilator, he's, they're going to do the work on him. But if we leave now, we can race up to Mount Rushmore. So when he wakes up and they take the ventilator out, we can FaceTime him and show him. Yeah, so after leaving, I believe it was September 3rd, we started, as, the goal was to race up to South Dakota um, to get to Mount Rushmore so I could FaceTime my dad when we got there. And we had made it all the way up to Kansas. And my mom gave me a call crying, saying that, even though the nurses and the doctors were hopeful just a couple of days before, they were not hopeful anymore. They were thinking it was the end. So, I, f sorry, I found the nearest airport, which was actually in Omaha, Nebraska. We drove up there and I flew back to Fort Myers and I stayed there for a few days. Went and said goodbye to my dad. And also, this was like also really hard because since in the midst of COVID, only one person's up aloud in the hospital room at a time. So like my whole family couldn't be up there with him. We all had to go once at a time, but we all went once at a time and we said our goodbyes. And then it was just kind of, we waited because they were just gonna start, they were gonna stop trying to help because they knew they couldn't help anymore. So then it was just a matter of, the days of when he would pass. So I was with my mom and she knew that Chris was just up in Nebraska so he'd never been before by himself. So she pushed me to fly back just to, so I could go be with him. So a few days later I flew back and I got back to Omaha in, on Friday. Chris and I still just, we're just trucking along, trying to figure out what to do. We still kept on hitting the capitals because no matter what, I still wanted to make this video for my dad. Um, so we keep trucking along and it was by the time we had gotten to, it was South Dakota. And that's when I got the call from my mom that he had passed away. And um, like I said before, only one person was allowed at the hospital at the time, so my mom was with him when he passed. And luckily we all got to say goodbye to him. But it was just, it's, it's been the hardest thing, especially now editing these videos, because they were all for him. So this video is in dedication to my dad. I hope that he gets to still watch this whole journey with us and see us visit all these places and see that now I can and just see and see that we just did it all for him something I do want to end this video on so the day that my dad passed it wasn't until like a bit of the afternoon and that was the day we were supposed to go to Mount Rushmore again the original plan to try to get him on FaceTime <clears throat> to show him 
but we had slept in a Walmart parking lot and when we woke up in the morning there were a bunch of like there was just chaos outside and it made us nervous to leave the van so we decided not to go to Mount Rushmore that day and when I told my mom that she she said well maybe it was meant to be because now you guys can go tomorrow and now he can go with you guys um um so that was the plan the next day we were gonna go to Mount Rushmore so I could just feel like I'm there with him because it's the place he always wanted to go but he never got to and um but I have a clip we had slept at a little campground nearby Mount Rushmore and we were gonna go at sunrise it was gonna be this really special thing we had woken up and it had been raining so it wasn't projected to rain and it had just been raining really hard and it said it was gonna be raining for a few hours but and we talked to the camera and we said this probably isn't gonna work probably can't go right now which it broke my heart just because something I just really wanted to do like with him and we turned off the camera and I don't think we recorded this but as soon as we turn off the camera within five minutes the rain completely stopped and that just felt so special because it felt like he was up there and he knew that it was like we were all gonna go together and it was the rain that was stopping us and the rain just completely stopped and it's just one of those feelings where um I really felt that he was with us and it was really special so for this video from my dad I just want to end it with our clips from Mount Rushmore because they really feel like he was able to go with us. After everything that happened at Mount Rushmore with the rain, I just really do feel like he was watching and that was his little nudge to um to keep going. And after this video, we do continue on the trip. We continue to try to hit all the lower 48 capitals, largest cities, and universities in honor of my dad. So next video we will continue trekking on but thank you so much for listening to this video